Welcome to our show. Today we're diving into an important question. Why do we test drugs in mice before they're given to humans? To help us understand, we've invited Dr. Smith, a leading researcher in pharmacology. Welcome, Dr. Smith. Thank you. It's great to be here. First and foremost, mice share about 95 to 98 percent of their genes with humans. This genetic similarity allows us to study how drugs affect biological systems that closely resemble our own. Mice have a short lifespan and reproduce quickly, which is incredibly useful for research. We can observe multiple generations in a relatively short period. This helps us study long-term effects and genetic implications of drugs more efficiently than in humans. Mice can be kept in controlled environments, minimizing variables that could affect the results. Researchers can standardize factors like diet and living conditions to ensure consistent and reliable data, which is crucial for drawing accurate conclusions about a drug's effects. Mice can be genetically modified to mimic human diseases, allowing us to study disease progression and treatment effects in a living organism that closely replicates human conditions. This is invaluable for developing treatments for complex diseases. Testing drugs on mice helps identify potential safety concerns before progressing to human trials, which minimizes risks to human participants. It's a critical step in adhering to ethical standards in medical research, ensuring that human trials are as safe as possible. Research using mice is generally less expensive and less resource intensive than human trials. This allows for extensive preliminary testing to identify promising drugs and eliminate those with adverse effects early in the development process. Thank you, Dr. Smith, for breaking that down for us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thank you all for watching. 